everyone and welcome back to my channel do not forget to subscribe to my channel so that you see my new uploads and do not forget to click the bell button so that you get notified and you can be the first one to watch my videos and leave your beautiful comments I was just sitting actually and having breakfast and watching some of the bloggers on YouTube and then I stumbled across our beautiful Stephanie SL Miss Glam and she was getting ready and talking and I was like why not also do this type of video so thank you Stephanie for inspiring me for, to do that video I was gonna get ready anyways why not get ready with you guys I will just quickly show you what I do have what I apply and we will see what I start talking about so first things first I always use my Maybelline baby lips uh, moisturizer then I also go with my nature Republic moisturizer and I also make sure I don't forget about my neck there you go it sinks into the skin so fast that you can pretty much apply it right before you put on makeup and you're gonna be fine when I just film and when I'm staying home I never really put a uh, primer face primer L'Oreal brow stylist sculptor I always show this to you as you can see when I'm makeup list I literally don't have my face on I don't have my eyebrows I don't have my lashes and when I was like 16 or 17 I remember my friends and my mom would always make me wear makeup they were always trying to force me to wear mascara and eyebrows and I was so hesitant I was like no I don't want to do that I was like a tomboy that's funny to look at my pictures and I was like oh my gosh I was like pale like whatever you see right now that's what I was always all right now my makeup brushes I go in with my same favorite Zoeva brush silk finish and the Maybelline Super Stay 24 Hour Wear Foundation that I showed you guys in one of my insta stories I have a lot more redness on this side than this side and I have no idea why it just that's how my face is. I guess I just sleep on this side more. If you look at my skin right now and you may think that it's like it's bad and I have some breakouts, you guys, it's good. It's actually very good. My skin has improved big time. And I don't know if it's due to my pregnancy or if it's due to the Nature Republic products. And maybe it's both. By the way, I wanted to talk about one incident that happened to me. So once uh, we were just hanging out in downtown area with my husband, and suddenly I see a very familiar face and I realized that that's a girl from Instagram that I just been like following or saw or was following before or something like that so I just tell my husband oh my gosh I know her you know let's go let's go say hi you know I'm just that simple <laughs> she was there with her husband and her two kids so I run to her and I'm like oh my gosh I know you from Instagram and uh, my name is Kate and blah blah blah, you know, and I was very nice and she seemed very nice We just had a very quick chat and they had to go and uh, Their kids were kind of like let's go. Let's go, you know And we took a picture and I told her that I'm Kate's ordinary life and I have my channel blah blah blah, you know And she's like, oh hey DM me, you know on Instagram tell me that this is like you and stuff So I was like, okay, yeah, she seemed open to like chat you know basically she wasn't like oh my gosh okay thank you nice bye so i came home and i discovered that i actually wasn't following her i guess i just kept seeing her in my suggested all the time or facebook or whatever so i dm'd her very quick very short and very nice and then i was just kind of waiting for her to respond for a day for two for three and then i realized she's not gonna respond to me she had like around twenty-five thousand followers or something at that time and i was like all right like why would you do this i even i even like realized that i'm she may not even like me because i was sort of obnoxious just running into her hey i follow you hey it's so nice to see you you know all that excited in my opinion it would have been nice if she just responded like hey okay nice running into you or thanks for coming up you know you don't have to like continue the relationship or continue the chat you can just be nice and just I hate how people show themselves so nice on Instagram and talk about being real and talk about showing their real sides and their real life and talk about those girls that are so out there and so not down to earth blah 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 and then when you meet them in real life they're like oh you're my follower nice you know I love you so much and then you reach out to them and there's nothing I mean I don't even care much about it I just it was my first time that I kind of 
came across such behavior maybe she's just different but i just thought it was a little bit rude i just didn't expect that reaction from her or even like that turn of events so since we're on this topic right now i wanted to share another story with you guys some time ago i came across a very nice youtuber she is not one of the popular youtubers she makes all those videos about being honest about brands about being a blogger friends and blah 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 you know all this real stuff that we need in life we were just chatting and we decided to make a collab as the date was approaching, the collab date, and I was filming, and I was being so busy that day, so I reached out to her, like, making sure that we're still on it, and we're doing the collab, and she never responded, and I was like, okay, maybe she's just too busy to respond, you know, I just need to get on with my video, I can't just wait for her to respond, I need to do it, I don't want to, like, be the person who holds back the collab and all that stuff. I take it very responsible, very serious, if, if we said that we upload, like, 6 or 7 a.m. I am there by my computer making sure it uploads so I'm kind of even getting nervous when I like collab that's how serious I take it so I stayed up literally the whole night making sure that my video goes on time and editing the video and all that stuff the day before that she was all fine yes yes we're uploading all that stuff then morning comes and I realized she doesn't respond to me, she doesn't say anything and my collab is all ready and everything is done and I just need to publish my video and the day's here and I need to make my video public, you know, for people to watch. She never responded anything back ever since, so I had to uh, re-edit the video, cut out this piece and re-upload the video basically and it was like either a few hours late or a day late and it was just so rude of her even if she ever reach out, reaches out to me again i i highly doubt i will like work with her or respond to her or maybe i will remind her of that event and just you know see what she says i just i like giving people second chances and i like seeing what people think i, I want to know why people do these things what happens is uh, my channel used to be Russian and I would get very good views back then, very good ratings. I had a lot of engagement and my Russian audience knows about it. So you can scroll down and see that I had like very good views and very good statistics. Then I switched to English right now and I'm starting to kind of, it's like almost starting over again. You can see my views, they're not barely reaching like 1k over like a week or so. and. What happens, I think that when some bloggers, they want to collab with me, they see the number of subscriptions and they don't really pay attention to the views. And then when it gets closer to the date, they either start going over my YouTube channel or something and they see that I don't really get much views right now and that's what they do. But why not be straight up and just say, hey, I want it to be, you know, like mutual. I want to get some exposure as well and you're nice, blah, blah, blah. But I really need to work on my channel. I don't know, just be nice and be open, be honest. Obviously, we collab not only to like um, share each other's channels, we also collab to like get more exposure. That's obvious, that's business, that's normal. Be open if you can be honest. I don't know, like use some words or... But that was bad. <laughs> That was very bad. Another thing happened with another blogger and she is also one of those nice girls, you know? Um, so we decided to collab and as the day was approaching, I was getting ready, I was doing my stuff. Then she starts kind of like acting weird. So, and because I've been in those situations already, I'm like, okay, okay, I need to make sure that we're actually doing the collab and I spend the time wisely. So I reach out to her, she says, hey girl, I can't do the collab right now, I've been very, very busy, blah, blah, blah. I was like, okay, that's that's okay, that's totally normal, let's say there was schedule or, you know. And then a few days later, she responds, uh, when we were gonna upload the video, she responds, hey girl, I can't upload right now because I was in a plane crash. And I was like, what? <laughs> like, what the heck are you freaking talking about? Like, serious? And, um... Uh, very stupid, very lame excuse, like came out with some it, absolutely horrible, stupid story. It was so fake, so stupid, I was like, all right, and her videos kept coming up and her Instagram was still live and she was posting and Insta-storying and stuff. Bloggers are 
examples to me. I feel like vloggers are the people who should inspire and be the right example and try to really strive to be that person. That's what I personally want to be. Like I want to be that person who I try to portray like uh, on social media, you know? And when I face people like that on social media, I, it blows my mind. So ever since then, I've been very careful about collabs and I collab with only people who I've been like in serious social media relationship for a very long time and I trust them and I truly genuinely love I don't like that happening on social media can't do anything with it right now I will go in with my eye primer and I use the Urban Decay eye primer about my channel by the way my statistics has been picking up very slowly but I see some uh, numbers increasing I see some statistics increasing so very very slow but it increases and that's good but before it was just so dead so dead it's just so hard to keep going and i use my sl miss glam brushes unicorn highlight brush very pretty very pretty brushes i always link her discounts in my uh description box i don't get anything from this but you get you get a discount now i will go in with my anastasia beverly hills, hills brow wiz and just define my eyebrows a little more and the anastasia beverly hills brush so back to the topic of bloggers and just people overall i am the type of person who will always try to find excuses and you know explain people's behavior and why they act a certain way i don't care if they don't like me I'm fine. I do accept this uh, theory. I do accept that kind of option that they just don't like me. I'm a very active, very loud and opinionated person. Not every person wants to deal with that. You can be straight up with me, you know? There were other stories with other girls, by the way, other bloggers. I have like, I have several stories with that and that's when I actually gave up trying to meet with bloggers or trying to have like this relationship with bloggers the only people that i feel like are very genuine and i truly like can say that i love them as people right now as sort of my online friends are like stephanie asalmis glam is a very genuine girl she is truly like i feel like she is truly like that real person crystal clear makeup she got popular pretty fast she's been working super hard and she always finds way to respond back and she is that same person like she doesn't change and i saw her growing up like literally on my eyes and there's miss liz hart she always responds she's always nice she's always down to earth and there are many other bloggers out there that are like that and i really appreciate this no matter how many followers they have they always try to respond and they're being honest and genuine you can feel that they do not just not care about you they truly try to respond and be detailed and be nice real people so there were a couple of times that i tried to meet with some instagram girls from my own city here so we would set a date and um you know schedule everything and the day would come and they would text that they can't meet let's reschedule i was like okay no, no problem why set a date why say yes let's meet why try to build that communication chat to relationship online thing if you're not even interested in me if you don't care about me if you don't like me i don't understand this like and there were quite a few incidents like that when the date would come and they would just not go well not go anywhere i don't know why people do these things I don't know. I just recently met another very nice girl on Instagram and we started talking online and we actually met and she is a very nice, very hard working, very creative person and we had so many kind of uh, similarities. I really enjoyed hanging out with her. She just had a child, uh, his six months. And you know what? I will link her down below in my description box. I will link all of my favorite girls down there. You don't always meet people who you click so much with. And that was one of the girls. All right, I will put my falsies and be back, all right? All right, I started applying concealer and forgot that I didn't turn off the camera. Turn on the camera. So yeah, too many incidents with vloggers like uh, these ones. Oh, I don't know if I'm just too naive or stupid or whatever it is, but I always feel like they're not bad people you know there's an explanation to why they're like that and i just do not believe that people really truly pick the path of being fake 
I I don't want to believe that. Like I don't see why and how and how do people live like this? So, yeah. That's the negative side of uh, being a blogger, having those relationships. You never know who's real and who's fake until you actually get into a situation like that. Now we'll go ahead and put a little bit of eyeshadow. I know you have to do it before you apply your uh, eyelashes. I, I just literally forgot, forgot about my eyeshadow. So I'm gonna use my favorite uh, naked. So about being real and stuff, I don't think it's that hard. You just have to like love yourself and have to accept yourself first, of course, to be real. Because you can't be real if you don't love yourself. That's when you start being fake. Sometimes I feel like I'm being way too real. It's not that I love myself too much. It's just that I feel like people get scared off very easy because I'm just so open and so real. Other times people say that you're so closed up and you're like, uh, I take my time to kind of, you know, let people in my head and in my thoughts and everything like this. But if you become my friend or if you ever need help or like in real life, I can be a very good friend. I can stay up at night talking with you. If you have like personal drama, I will be talking with you every single day over and over and over again, trying to help you, talking about the same things. If you have like trouble with relationships or things like that, I will walk you through this. We will go through this and like together every day. So I'm a good friend. I can admit this. When things like that happen, when like the cases that I just talked about, I don't feel like, oh my gosh, I'm so weird. There is this minute when I'm like, oh my gosh, like, am I a bad person? I start talking with my uh, husband. I'm like, am I like weird? Am I strange? Like, what is wrong with me? Why do some people not like avoid me? And not like avoid me, but you know, <laughs> they do this to me. I don't let this kind of drag me down, you know, because I know me. And me is good. We like me. I literally use one brush sometimes for my whole eye uh, makeup look. Too Faced, the heart candy blush. Oh, it smells like chocolate. It is called Chocolate Soleil, actually. Tell me if you had any bad incidents with bloggers and what you think of all of these situations. Thankfully for me, I have found myself years back when I say found myself is I found peace within myself and I know what I am, I know that I'm a good person and I know my purpose and I have my friends, you know, kind of like very, very close people. So these kind of situations, they don't bring me down that much. They, they give me a little doubt in like, am I a good person kind of, you know, for a few hours, but in myself, I know what I am. This thing, this trick, makes your lip look a little, a little fuller it looks like your lip is like so full it gives this shadow so if things like that happen in your life and you do get affected by this i think you just need to make sure that you know your worth and you find find yourself and you talk to yourself and you need to discover yourself first for people to like you and to be able to stay afloat when things like this happen to you and things will happen to you like this in life because there are crappy and bad people. There are situations that just happen, not because people are bad, but because they just happen and you need to be able to battle those uh, situations and come out healthy and nice and not damaged and still believe in people and be able to love people and give them second chances and stay wise you know and learn from it and not like put yourself down and say that you're just crap <laughs> because you're not we're all good we're all great as long as we want to be good and great and we strive for that and you know for me it's very important to get up in the morning or go to bed at night or if I wake up at night and just have these, you know, moments of thinking I need to know that I am a good person. I need to know that I'm doing the right things. So I pray to God always to, to live this life right. I pray to God always to make sure that He gives me wisdom to live this life the right way, to be the right way, to, you know, to have this right life. Again, Stephanie's... Uh, Fan brush. This is the unicorn set as well. Very beautiful, right? So beautiful. And the Becca Cosmetics 
um, champagne pop. Well, okay, you guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you guys so much for staying with me here. Thank you so much for listening to me. Thank you so much for being such great followers, for participating, for following me, for just supporting me. We are done with my makeup and I will go ahead and keep working today. I will go ahead and keep filming other videos for you guys. That's it. I will go ahead and uh, change out of my unicorn robe and... Um, film some serious videos for you guys. Bye everyone! <laughs>